Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Intercon Labs. And for spring, we're going to combine the two things that it's known for, golf and storms. But our test today, we're not using this. What we're going to use is the X-Force Can Cannon with Golf Ball Launcher. Say hello to my little friend! Welcome back to Intercon Labs where we push the limits with the most unconventional tests you've ever seen done on industrial enclosures. Today, we're simulating one of spring's fiercest adversaries, hailstorms. Hail can vary in size from small peas to as big as a grapefruit. Today, we're using golf balls to represent golf ball sized hail. So in true intercon fashion, we're gonna start out with our watermelon. You know we love exploding those, so we can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. Then we're gonna move on, and you know there's a lot of hail damage uh, through the spring for automobiles. So we're gonna test out and see if we get a golf ball to get through this uh, windshield. Then moving on, we're also gonna test the newest uh, technology that's really out there lately is the metal roofs. Um, see what's, what our golf ball is gonna do, if it's gonna dent it, or if this panel could actually take the impact. And then last, we're gonna get down to business and test our enclosure. What we have is a fiberglass NEMA rated three enclosure. This should be dust proof, uh, waterproof, and we're gonna see if it's gonna be golf ball proof. Can't wait to see it. So to help us today with our testing, I have Robert, our application engineering manager, and Vince, our project manager from Intercon. So they are both uh, way more experienced with guns than I am, so I'm gonna let them take the shots today. But to start off, they're gonna be going after the watermelon. So let's see how that works out. All right, so we got a solid hit on that. You can see the hole in the entry area. It really just took out the whole bottom half. If I flip this over, look at the carnage it did on our melon. Nice and tasty. Get a little bite of that. Mmm, all good. All right, so we just got through the watermelon. You can see that that was totally tore up on the inside. Never seen a watermelon look like that. Um, so definitely would not withstand our, our golf ball challenge. Uh, moving on, we're going on to the windshield. Let's see how that, how that handles it. Fun fact, windshields are crafted for durability. They are made from laminated glass, which consists of two layers of glass bonded together with a layer of polyvinyl butyrol, PVB, in between. This construction allows the windshield to absorb impacts and prevent shattering, providing safety in accidents and during extreme weather conditions. Oh my God, I was not expecting that to happen at all. I thought this would be a little bit uh, more resilient than that, but from 50 yards away, that golf ball launcher just took out this windshield. It went straight through, huge hole, but you know, checking out the safety glass that a windshield is, the, the laminated really made it not uh, spider out, which is supposed to, and uh, really shows the protection and durability of some of the, the, the craftsmanship in these windshields. Hail damage causes billions of dollars of damage to houses uh, you know, every year. And right now what we're gonna do next is test out and see how these new metal uh, roofing panels hold up. So let's check this out. <laughs> all right, so these panels did not hold up at all. So I don't know about metal roofing, but you can see it ripped right through the the aluminum got a few dents major dents but this one right through uh it's amazing the velocity of that that golf ball and to even top it off our control panel stands took a beating as well it went right through that this is really thick steel mesh that's on here and it totally massacred this so my uh manufacturing director is gonna be kind of pissed about that one <laughs> All right, so for our last test of the day, we're hitting our NEMA 3 enclosure. So again, this is a fiberglass enclosure, NEMA 3 rated, uh, really waterproof, dust proof, uh, but we're gonna see if it's golf ball proof.
So this enclosure had an epic fail. It did not handle the golf ball size hail uh, simulation at all. It actually went right through it. And you can see right in the cover here, the hole that it put in there. Here's the golf ball itself. It didn't go all the way through. The metal in the back stopped it, but this fiberglass up front just got decimated. That's a wrap on today's episode. Clearly, safeguarding your outdoor control panels against nature's unexpected challenges is crucial. For all your custom control panel needs, reach out to Entercon. Visit us at enterconpower.com to explore our full range of solutions designed to power your success.